next quick topic will be um, new business. Uh, how do we let people know about what we're doing? What do we? How do we want to reach out to people? Um, what do we want them to be thinking about when they're not at meetings with us? I think something we should. I think we should have a Facebook page just because that's an easy thing to do. That's accessible to a lot of people. And all well, proves that we're staying be, current and open. And uh, all we could do is just kind of mimic our website. Whenever we update our website, we can link to what we've just posted on the website on our Facebook page and let people know what we're working on. Seriously. And something that I had meant to put on here but didn't is um, send out something to the people that have signed the petition. Right. That is good. That's we got to keep those people involved. Yeah, let them know about the website. And well, do we have an interest in making a major push on the petition, or is the petition going to kind of just be out there for people to jump on if they want? Well, let me let me back up a second, um, if it's all right. Um, Surround the business. Did we want to go ahead and um, settle on our officers yet? We can hold off on that one, maybe if we want to. Um, Silver alluded to something that maybe is more pressing is appointing herself to the board. I think we need a motion. Do we need to get ourselves on the board and then we're on and then we're dealing with anyone else that comes on as to whether they're on the board or not? Yeah, I think right now we we probably need a motion approving ourselves as the initial board. Well, we, we adopted the bylaws, but technically one of us could say, well, I don't want to be a board member. So I, I think we need a motion. All right. I'll go ahead and make that motion that um, we self-appoint ourselves as board members for the initial board. <laughs> That's pretty. I'll second that. Self-serving. <laughs> All in favor of the self-serving four <laughs> gang of four. Uh, uh, are we going to continue in our four over vote <laughs> in here? I, think so. I got an eye. I hope so. I'm <laughs> uh, yeah, There's always one. So we're at well, we should tell the people the in the video that they're welcome to join our group. And just come right, right. <laughs> and <clears throat> that does not have anything to do with the definition of officers. It just uh, puts us on as board members, and then officers will be dealt with at a at a later date. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that. It's or do we need to have? Do we now that we have a board? Do we have to have officers? Don't we? we yeah. We have um, to have somebody in charge. Well, there's lots of vacancies, but we don't have to. to we don't have. There's nothing in there that says we have to do it right now, is there? Not they. It can be postponed until the next meetings to give us time to think about it. I, if there's one position that I would be interested in, I think it would be secretary. I think that just makes sense. I think you make a good secretary. I yeah, I would like to. Uh, Strong arm you to be the secretary um, in a Roberts rule sort of way, um, but I'd like, I'd like to make a motion that you you take on the secretary role because you're most qualified and you're good at. It. I second that motion. If the teller hasn't already, I'll third that motion. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, call the question. Call I have uh, call that question. Uh, uh, Wayne being the uh, defined secretary is the one board. Um, or the one officer position at this point? Aye. 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 We don't really need a treasury yet, so that could be done at the next meeting, that's for sure. Well, unless we have a burning desire to, to, to fight over who wants to be king of the hill here, and I, I, I'm not saying I do at all, um, I just postpone the, the other um, appointments. Okay. If that's okay. That's fine with me. Yeah. Publicity press release. 
Well, um, I think a press release, what's, I guess the, the action here, are to generate new members, um, would the action be to invite people to our next meeting? I think the action is to invite them to go to the website and join. Okay. Because that's going to tell them what we're about and give them a way. And then they to can come to the next meeting. Yeah, yeah the meeting's open. Right. We we put that on there. Okay. Well, let's. Okay. Yeah. Let me. Let me. Let's back up a second then. Uh, do we agree to go ahead and, and and put the meeting notice on the website? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That. I'm tempted to say that's just going to be ordinary business. That that's that's news. That those types of things would automatically go. Not just automatically keep that up to date. Okay. Yeah. And so, the action would be to invite people to our to we, so we announce we have a website. And we have a website. Does it make sense to add the action, other action of inviting people to the meeting yet? Or do you think we'd go all hold back on that one? We already have our next meeting date. Yeah. We're a group. Yeah, we have a website. We ask you to join on the website. And we ask you to come to the next meeting. That's, those are, that's, that makes up a pretty good press release. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's that's what I'm trying to get to the meat of here. Yeah. What about the Facebook page? The face. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I move that uh, Silver be in charge of creating a Facebook page for a better government to mirror the um, current better government website. Now, <clears throat> the headquarters would be located in Richmond, Virginia. But um, one question I have about that is, um, do we want to make it? On the web, on the Facebook page, Better Government Richmond, or do you want to open it up already to just Better Government? And the question is, you you raise the question because you can't change it later. Is that I? You can change it up until you have two hundred mem members or two hundred people who like the page, but until then, you can change the name of your group. I mean, I have, I have like, like more people liking our website than signing our petition, <laughs> like, right. in our, like in our uh, Facebook page. But um, I would favor having Better Government Richmond as our Facebook page, and we could maybe have a Better Government U.S. page if we want. But, uh, I no, no it, logically it makes sense to go with something you might be stuck with. And if we're going to be stuck with someone, we want to be stuck with Better Government Richmond, then you can create a new one. U.S. or new one for Petersburg or whatever. We I think we need to start with ours because we might be stuck with that name. Mm -hmm. um, that's fine, except that and and I makes mean, perfect sense to me. But but um, my only question is, what if someone comes in and sets up a better government Facebook page? Well, we could we could we could grab a better government U.S. just Facebook preemptively. Yeah. Okay. Well, I motion that Silver go ahead and, and grab proactively the BGUS and the, the Better Government Richmond Facebook pages. Okay. I second that. And we'll trust Silver to administer that in a um, proper manner. Okay. He has so many friends. Well, <laughs> All right, that brings in the Silver audience. All right. You seconded it. I seconded it. And do we need to call that question? Yeah. To, uh, yeah. Silver will do both Facebook pages and be his regular yeah. Facebook page. I can make you guys admins too as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, you don't have to do it, but you, you, you can case. have access. Yeah, that's good, just in case. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I. Oh, uh, <laughs> I. <laughs> There is a Citizens for Better Government, and there's a Better Government Association. Yeah, I think that one's in Illinois. Read the started portion of the town. It might be Illinois. I'm not sure. But 
it's similar to the more. Citizens for Better Government's a little bit more worse than music that is. Is that the one you're talking about? No, there's a, a, a Better Government Association. That, that's a pretty active group. I, I, well, it's it's, just, it's, there's a Citizens for Better Government. Oh, you're looking at Facebook. Yeah, right. Restoring They're, America One yeah. Better Time. Yeah. Um, has 15 likes, so it's not exactly a threat here, but I just want to be aware of that. But I think, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. So our, the main Facebook page we would have would be Better Government Richmond. Would be the well, we'd have two. We'd have Better Government, and then we'd have Better Government Richmond. Better Government Richmond would be the more active one at this point. Could it be Better Government or Better Government U.S.? U.S. Well, let's see. Yeah, they, they really it's our they, website yeah, if they, we have U.S. Yeah, yeah, there really is. I don't think there'd be a, a need for just better government. I'm, I'm, only, I'm only concerned with the Better Government Association. It's a little bit more worrisome because it is the BGA, the nonprofit organization, the BGA is an independent, nonpartisan government watchdog. We receive no government funding. Right. Yeah. 3,624 likes. Yeah, they're pretty big. So we need to be careful a little bit there, but I'll let you handle that, Silver. And the, the, the careful issue there, being a non-Facebook dude, is that you can't... We don't want to... We don't, don't want to... We don't confuse, confuse people. With them. Yeah, okay. we don't want people thinking that we're trying to yeah. co-op them or, or confuse people. You, you don't want to lose a name and you don't want to confuse people. Yeah. Yeah, that's, so, but I, better government... If, dash U.S. Is, to me, that's unique. Have you been in touch with the government, their government association? Mm -hmm. But I, I just did some re reading on their website. Should it be a dash for both of those? Their government dash U.S. dash Richmond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, they might get. I don't know. But I don't know about. I don't know. I don't know enough. Maybe you have better idea of BGA than I do, but. They've been around since 1923, supposedly. Yeah. So, but, but the issue is whether the names are legally different, and just as a convenience matter, whether they're confusing to users. I don't think there's a big problem. But conceivably, what you're referring to is, is that they could protest our name and, and shut down our web, our fam, our Facebook page because it's too similar? Or? Our, our, our website. Well, I'm just, yeah. There, there are plenty of better governments of one type or another, so I just, I don't think it'd be a problem if it is. What's, what's the implications of the, or the, the consequences of them? They sent a cease letter to us. And Say, hey, you guys are too much like us, and please stop using that name. Uh, I don't think legally and even practically, BG, Better Government Association, Better Government US, I wouldn't think those were the same. I, you know, normally I, I, would, I would agree with you, except that their, their mission is so much like ours. So are you more concerned about better government U.S. than Richmond, or both? Uh, both, really, but um, BG U.S. You know, is obviously more a threat to better government association, probably. Do they conceive, perceive themselves as a national organization, BGA? Yeah, I think Sharing so. a light on government. Shining a light on government, excuse me. Um, As I recall, they were... Presenting themselves as a national. Here's your website. Yeah. I, I, I don't have a problem with better government life in the U.S. I don't have a problem either. I just, I just, you know, I just. Yeah, it. no, it, it's it's good to think it through. Um, I think down the line it might become a problem. And I guess um, I, I wouldn't have, if, they, if it came to a problem, I wouldn't 
have any problem at all putting right on the front of ours that we're different from them and we like what they're doing. Here's a link to their site. Yeah. Sure. Well, let me ask. Let me ask you this provocative question. Um, they have locales, and they're all in Illinois. It looks like. Um, down the line, if the, if it did become a problem, would you say, well, do you guys, do, how do we feel about becoming part of BGA for operating as, as one of their locales? I got no problem with that. I mean, it was not, not knowing all yeah. about the organization, yeah, but assuming assuming that it was um, doing what we're looking to try to do. Um, I, I would have no problem in affiliating um, with someone else doing this in other places. Right. That's that's sort of the, the question. Well, I, maybe, we, I, maybe I miss. I, I thought I heard you say us affiliating with them. Yes. Right. That is as a possible future outcome of this. If we if if that had to be an appeasement sort of thing or. A, yeah. Um, if, if they said, well, you know, we don't want you. We don't want you to use PGUS because it's confusing. But we, but we understand you want to continue as yeah. better government Richmond. Would you just consider becoming one of our locales, local chapters? Yeah, it depends on really what their mission or yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, is there might messages required. I, I think we want to make the motion here that we all look at the BGA website and, and sort of get our own perception of them and just, just be prepared for that possibility. We go ahead with these Facebook pages. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. I call that question. All in favor of that motion? Aye. 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 Now, so, all right, I'm sorry, we're back to, to Facebook pages. We're sending out a press release about the New website and the meeting and, uh, and joining and, and something to the petition signers, right? And you control the petition signers, right? Send email to them, right? Okay. Um, what I would like to see happen, just to speak out loud here, is um, we go ahead and get the Facebook pages up. We go ahead and get the press release written, and then um, and the and the press release can include the Facebook pages, and of course the regular website, of course. And um, oh, where's going with this? We send it out to the media, obviously, um, and you can send it out to the um, petition writers. Signers, and I can include it on, say, the water rate update for my petition signers. They let the, I was concerned they weren't going to let me do that before, but they actually did eventually approve me sending out something about better government, even though it was on a different petition site. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting. So, okay, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I can have the website updated. To, it, we don't really have to rush. I mean, this is a long-term project, so like in the next week, if you get that up. And yeah, if we can get it up in the next week, that still gives yeah. people three weeks to join and be prepared for yeah. the next meeting, and even that's not going to be. A, yeah, I think I think the goal should be should be by the end by the end of this week. Yeah. All right. Does that take care of publicity? I think so. That, that's enough for now. <laughs> um, well, let's let's talk a little bit about um, real quick about um, anything to do with getting new members. Um, we never decided on a tattoo. I don't think we have membership cards. So if people do show up to the meeting, and um, there may be some people that we know that. We're glad to see, but we're not sure what their input's going to be. Do we have any thoughts on? Is there any thoughts on handling, or any thoughts on um, on on 
how we should welcome new members? Or handle new members? If we have some people who want us to get assault rifles and arrest officials. <laughs> that probably is not going to occur <laughs> if... I, I think it's just a matter of explaining that at this mm -hmm. point they're supporters. They want to give us suggestions or concerns about City Hall to look at would take them. Okay. But, but um, they don't, at this point, under our bylaws, they don't have decision making. Right. Right. That, that's fine. Um, I think that was wise that we did it that way. Um, How can uh, members have meaningful input into uh, the meeting? Give us a letter. Do you want to put something, uh, a suggestion box on the website that people can um, make uh, make those inputs and then need maybe have some rules that it, since this isn't a has to get done by two weeks or everything's going to get broke scenario, um, that we come up with a rule that you have to submit it to the website in advance of a meeting or? No, that, that can just be ongoing, that anytime Somebody has an idea or a gripe? Well, here's here's my thought about it, and, and I'm fine with, with leaving it open. Like Wayne says, I, I, do, I do concern myself. I do concern, think that we're going to get, eventually, for better or for worse, it's going to be like the Sierra Club where we get hit by all these issues that, it's not that we're not interested in them. It's not that we don't care about them. It's just that we're so far removed from them. Like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know all the ins and outs of Goochland County. And Goochland County probably has a lot of in and outs. <laughs> but, but, you know, I mean, if someone comes to us and says, well, I have a real problem in Goochland with, with open government, and here's, here's what I'm saying, our response to that will be, okay, you know, we're going to accept that as an issue because you come to us, thank you, and you're interested. Um, we need to form, you know, you have people coming to us to volunteer and hopefully have input, and you know, how do we respond to that? Do we do we form committees? Wait, the Goochland Wait, committee. And if we have the Goochland committee, well, we got to make sure they don't get assault rifles and arrest officials. Well, <coughs> Goochland is out of our jurisdiction. This is city. Okay, so that needs to be delineated, I think, in, in the press release. Yeah, and then that's that's under the uh, purpose. Well, no, I understand yeah. it's in it's in yeah. the bylaws, but when you set when you tell people we're having a meeting, if you have oh, city yeah. concerns, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think that part of the press release will be the purpose and perhaps the principles too. Well, yeah, but I guess what I'm saying though is make sure you spell it out. Yeah, avert yeah. the issue. Yeah, yeah. But it, but to the second part of how do we handle a a list of Complaints or suggestions. I, I think first we set the priorities, which is the next agenda item, and we're constrained by our resources. Right. I just I just want to make sure that we we're all on the same page as far as handling requests, um, and also making sure that that. We have control over the situation. You know, like I said, I mean, I, I'm, all, I'm all for accepting people's um, complaints and concerns. I just don't want to be in a situation where all of a sudden I found out that someone in Goochland went to their um, board of supervisors and spoke on behalf of our government of Richmond and said, you know, you guys are out of line. Well, <laughs> on their bylaws, they couldn't do that. Right. So we, we're covered there too. Yeah. I, I well, couldn't do that. It would implicate us. Yeah. <laughs> right. They can do it. Yeah. And I, I think. That, I think. The, the way we've got it set up is that we're protected. That um, we make the decisions about the priorities, and the, the practical answer is. We can we'll do what our resources allow. Right. That's that's what we do with the Sierra Club. I just yeah. I just want to make because this is this has the potential for, you know, creating a lot of little fires all over the place, and I just want to make sure that that we're prepared for that situation. Yeah. And what, like you said, it's it's making 
sure that we communicate up front to people who join it to show support that they understand exactly the way things work. Right. Yeah. And probably that's you know, that's our next major effort is to try to figure out what's the most appropriate way to obtain information from others so that it doesn't dominate a meeting or um, <laughs> But it's still a way for people to be able to either an online entry or in a card that we create that says when you come to a meeting, if you have something that you think is important for us to know about, write it down and we'll look at it and get back to you or something. But the website is the right. obvious right. Well, I, I just had this picture of this old lady coming in with a, with literally a, a cart full of documents this high that we're waiting to go through. <laughs> Why haven't you done that yet? <laughs> Resources. Yeah. Resources. Yeah. All right. Um, so, um, anything else? We will go on to the next one, I guess. Yeah.